By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what you need to do to go viral on TikTok in June of 2021. I don't care if you have zero followers, 1K followers, 100K followers, or over a million followers. I even don't care if you've gone viral before or if you've never been viral. I'm gonna teach you exactly what you need to do in this video to make sure that every single one of you guys go viral because trust me, your organic reach on TikTok is not gonna last forever. Right now, you can go viral with zero followers, 100 followers, 1,000 followers. That is not going to be the case forever, so I wanna make sure that you guys are implementing the right blueprint, the right principles, so that it happens to you and you guys can live the life of your dreams, which for many of you watching this video is blowing up on TikTok, blowing up on social media, being able to sell more product on social media or whatever you're trying to do. All of those things are possible if you could get on the For You page and go viral on TikTok. In fact, here are some creators that I've recently helped go viral on TikTok. This person, over a million views. This one, over a million views. This one, two million views. And this one, over five million views. If you want results like this, trust me, continue watching this video because I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do by the end of this video. And don't miss the end of the video because trust me, guys, so many people will listen to one thing I say in this video. Now, there are gonna be about five principles. They'll listen to one thing, they'll implement that, and then they'll be in the comments, they'll be in my DMs, they'll say, Rob, I implemented the thing. How come it's not working? I used the right hashtags. I posted it at the right time. Timmy, you did not listen to everything that I said. That is why you weren't successful. That's why you didn't go viral. And probably that's why you're never going to go viral because there are several things that go into each video that go viral that you need to make sure that you do. But don't worry, I'm going to provide you with a complete checklist so you know exactly what to do. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Robert Benjamin. I'm the CEO of Helping You Grow on TikTok. I make videos about how to go viral on TikTok, the TikTok algorithm, the best time to post, the best hashtags to use, and so many other videos. I actually quit my job working for Gary Vee. So many of you guys know who he is to help you grow on TikTok. So please make sure you smash that subscribe button, you're never going to want to miss another episode. In addition to that, I answer every single comment that I get on my YouTube videos. So please leave a comment below. I want to help you grow. In addition to that, text me. Here is my phone number. I love hopping on FaceTimes with people, texting back and forth with people, and I'll keep you up to date on what videos are coming next on my text platform. So please make sure you text me. Also, the TikTok algorithm just changed for June. So I'm going to be dropping a series telling you guys an updated version of everything you need to do, what hashtags you need to use, what time you need to be posting, and so many other things. The next video that you're going to be seeing is what you need to be doing if you're under 100k followers on TikTok is with the new algorithm, you need to do different things if you're over 100k or under 100k. It's going to drastically affect how many views you get and how many pieces of content you should be putting out. So please make sure you guys tune into that video when it drops in just a couple days. Okay, guys, so here's the deal. Going viral on TikTok is incredibly easy. There are several factors that go into it, but it's incredibly easy. If you make good content that gets a high amount of watch time, a lot of people complete the video and TikTok thinks they have an audience for the content, you are going to go viral. It is that simple. To give you guys these quick metrics, if a video is under 15 seconds long, you need to get 100% watch time. If it's 16 to 30 seconds long, you need to get over 75% watch time. And if the video is over 30 seconds long, you need to be getting at least 50% watch time. Now that's the first thing. You need to hit those watch time metrics. In addition to that, and this is the most important part of the latest algorithm, if you saw my algorithm update video, your videos need to get over 50% completion rate. You heard that right, over a 50% completion rate. You need to have the majority of people watching the video complete the video. Now listen, you could have 40% and have great watch time and have a great video that fits an audience. And yes, you will get a lot of views on TikTok. You'll get 100K, you'll get 500K. You might even get a million. But if you want a video that gets 30 million views, 50 million views, you guys need to make sure that you're hitting these metrics. In addition to that, you need to ignore other things, which I'm gonna tell you about in just a little bit. Okay, so the first two things, you're hitting the watch time metric and you're getting the correct amount of people to complete the video. The next thing, if you're able to hit those two things and your video didn't go viral, the reason it did not go viral is because TikTok doesn't think they have an audience for your content. Now you guys need to listen here. TikTok is gonna think that they have an audience for your content based off of the hashtags you use, the description that you use, the video topic, the sound that you use in the video, the color of the text on the screen, and even what words you include in the video. Guys, these things matter so much. For example, I have a creator in one of my mentorship programs who makes riddle content. Well, lately, they've been making riddle content and literally they see a difference between 10,000 views and 1.4 million views. The only difference is that one of the riddles was about a really broad topic that TikTok has a huge audience for and the other riddle, they didn't signify any type of topic to TikTok. And guess what happened? There was a huge, huge, huge difference in views. So if you're hitting those metrics and you're posting at the right time, using the right hashtags, using the right descriptions, well then guess what? You need to change up the topic of your video. Your video has to be about something that's trending. Now it could be trending on TikTok. It could be trending in society. It could just be trending in your niche, but you need to make sure that it's something that's trending. But before I get into that, I do want to give away a free mentorship program to somebody. All you have to do to be eligible to win the mentorship program is make sure you 
subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow this creator right here. If you go follow this creator right here and subscribe to the channel, you might be one of the lucky people that I DM and I'm gonna go based off of who's subscribed and who's following them to choose one lucky winner. I'm gonna DM you on Instagram and guess what? You are going to win a free mentorship program, guaranteed growth on TikTok and a chance for me to shout you out in an upcoming video. So you're probably wondering, Rob, what is the easiest way for me to know what's trending? It's incredibly simple. You need to stay up to date on the top creators in your niche. You need to stay up to date on what's trending on TikTok and you need to make sure that you're constantly, this is the easiest way to go viral. You need to be duetting the top creators in your niche or viral posts on TikTok and stitching the top creators in your niche and viral posts on TikTok. These things go viral like crazy. I'm gonna give you guys a couple more videos and a couple more tips that will allow you to go viral in just a little bit. But you guys need to make sure that you're taking advantage of this at least once a day. If you're under 100K followers, if you're under a million followers, stitch a viral video, duet a viral video. Now this is incredibly simple to find. I literally want you to scroll the TikTok for you page, find a viral video, and then I want you to recreate it. Yes, recreate the video, but make the video even better. Now when I say recreate the video, I'm talking the same sound. I'm talking doing the same thing that they did in the video. I'm talking using the same color of the text on the screen. Have the text on the screen for the same length of time. And for the love of God, make sure you're incentivizing engagement. You do not want to have a post go viral and you not get the followers that you deserve. Now listen, I want you to look at your TikTok account right now. If you do not have 10,000 followers on TikTok for every 100,000 likes that you have, you are missing out big time. You heard that right. You should have 10% of the amount of followers as the number of likes. Why? Because that means that you're incentivizing engagement and that means that you're actually capitalizing on the views that you get. Everybody watching this video right now wants one of two things. They want to make money on TikTok or they want to be a huge creator on TikTok. Well, guess what? Neither of those things are going to happen unless you learn how to put a call to action in your videos and incentivize engagement in your videos. You could get trillions of views, but if you're not good at selling something, then nobody's ever going to buy your product. I see so many creators make this mistake and I don't want you to make the mistake. So please make sure you're incentivizing engagement in every single post that you do. It should come in the last three seconds and it should be a really compelling reason for somebody to click that plus sign. So a couple other tips when it comes to going viral on TikTok, everybody should be reposting their videos, but you should not be reposting more than three times a week. You heard that right. Don't repost more than three times a week. What kind of post should you repost? You should be recreating your best posts on TikTok. So many creators right now have a video on their page with a thousand views, 10,000 views, 100,000 views, a million views. And at each level, that is going to be a good video compared to the videos that they've done in the past. I want you to go look at your videos, see what it was. Was it a stitch? Was it a duet? Was it a green screen? What was it that got more people than average to view that video, you need to keep doing that. I look at so many creators' videos on a daily basis, hundreds of creators' videos on a daily basis, and guess what? I look at their page, haven't had a lot of views in a little bit because they haven't been doing the right things, and boom, I find a post, 100,000 views, a million views, 50,000 views, and guess what? They used a green screen in it. They used a stitch in it. They used a duet in it. They used a certain hook in it, and then I go look at their next video, and their next video, and their next video, and they didn't do those things. Guys, the biggest creators on TikTok, I've said this millions of times, the biggest creators on TikTok, they find what is working and keep doing it over and over and over again. Why on God's green earth? If you had a video go viral, if you had a video do above average, why'd you stop doing what you did in that video? You need to continue doing what you did in that video and do it even better and tweak the things so that you get the right watch time, get the right completion percentage, get the right audience on TikTok and boom, you are going to go viral. That is how it's going to happen, guys. I don't know why so many people think that like every post is different. Every post is not different. You should be adding on to your best posts in every single post, make them a little bit longer getting more watch time, incentivizing engagement better, building on these things. Guys, TikTok has analytics. It's not like we're shooting in the dark. It's not like it's Instagram or Snapchat stories or something crazy where you cannot see analytics. You have your analytics on TikTok. You guys need to begin utilizing them. In addition to everything else that I mentioned, you guys need to make sure that you're posting at the right time on TikTok. I'm not gonna tell you the best times to post on TikTok for June just yet because I'm dropping a new video on that. It's probably gonna be two videos from now. So make sure you smash that subscribe button because I'm telling you, you are not going to wanna miss that video. But what you should do is look at your viral videos from the past, look at your top videos, look at what time they were posted. Now remember guys, they're in standard time on TikTok. So what you're gonna have to do, if the video time shows greater than 12 hours, it shows 13, you need to take that number, subtract it by 12, that's gonna give you a time. Then you're gonna go onto Google, you're gonna type that time in standard time, convert it to whatever time zone you're in, that's gonna be the time it was posted on TikTok. I don't wanna see any comments below of people saying, Rob, it's not showing me the right time. Rob, TikTok has no idea what time 
time zone I'm in. You're right, because everything's in standard time on TikTok, so you need to go through and convert it. Why does TikTok do this? It does it so that they can have analytics updated, streamlined across every account. So if you travel from Hawaii to New York, it doesn't jack anything up. That is why they do this. So please, guys, make sure you're taking advantage of the best time to post on your TikTok account. Make sure you're taking advantage of posts that have already gone viral before, and make sure you're paying attention to the right metrics. That is what's going to help you go viral on TikTok. That being said, I've been seeing so many DMs, so many comments of people saying, Rob, I'm trying to promote a post. I want to promote a post. You guys need to stop promoting posts on TikTok. If you want to grow faster on TikTok, you want to get more views on TikTok, get into my mentorship program where I guarantee I can help you grow. What's the difference between that and promoting a post? You might be able to promote a post and it might do well, but guess what? In order for you to then get more views and more followers, you're going to have to spend more money. I'm going to show you what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, and make you a better creator in my mentorship program. Do you want to have some views right now, today, when you spend money, or do you want to have views and followers forever and be successful on social media forever, that's what my mentorship program is going to give you. You heard it right when I said it before. I'm going to guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok in my mentorship program. It's incredibly simple. You're going to go through six steps to becoming a TikTok expert course. I'm going to send you a personalized plan telling you when to post, what to post, what hashtags to use, and so much more information. And then I'm going to follow up with you for the next 30 days critiquing your content. We're going to look at your analytics together. I'm going to tell you what to do differently, and it's going to guarantee that you grow on TikTok. The only risk that you're taking is not signing up and letting TikTok's organic reach disappear. You guys need to get into the mentorship program. You can find out more at the link in the description. If you do not want to check that out, please check out the other videos I posted on YouTube. In fact, I'm going to put two videos up on the screen right now that YouTube thinks you should watch next.